in this tutorial video we will actually see how we can import some files and objects into Corel Draw and how to export some files from the Corel Draw project that we're currently working on. Now Corel Draw is basically a vector based image program and being such it will create vector based images and in the past it wasn't that really easy to export the vector based um, images into some desktop publishing applications uh, likewise it's not easy to actually um, export some bitmap images into word processing programs now when it comes to Corel Draw and the projects you're working on sometimes you would actually need to get your project professionally printed by some printing services and you will need some appropriate files that um, their actual software and the printing services can handle and therefore can print your your work now that's why it's very important to actually export the appropriate files and to um, actually get your get your work printed now when it comes to actually the printing services almost all printing services can handle .esp files and Corel Draw handles those files pretty well so actually before we go and see how we can export import open save copy and paste those files let's have a quick look at the differences between all of these so basically if we are talking about getting our images and our objects out of our Corel Draw program so we're basically talking about exporting or saving as files or just saving now the difference there is that when you actually export your file the file will be automatically assigned um, .esp file extension when you are actually saving your file or saving as your file you can choose the file type you would like your project to be saved as alright so the next thing that we'll look at is importing versus opening a file so basically there is a bit of a difference there so what happens is when you are opening a file the Corel Draw will actually create a new Corel Draw file for that particular object that you are actually opening however when you are importing a file that file will Corel Draw will actually bring that file or that object into the already created file and that's the big difference so opening will create a new file while importing will actually go and just import that file with all its um, that object sorry with all its necessary files and everything everything else now copying and pasting basically what I would like to say about copying and, and pasting is that it's the easy way to actually get some files some objects into the Corel Draw basically by just copying that particular object onto the Windows clipboard and then just pasting it in. Now that that can work most of the times but probably the more professional way is to actually understand the exporting and importing opening and saving files so you can use those to actually get some work into uh, Corel Draw projects and basically out of them. So during, during this tutorial we'll go ahead and we will export some text files from Corel Droid to word processing software we will actually import some text file into the Corel Droid then we'll have a look at how to import some graphical objects into our project and then copy the graphical object from our project into some other application and then we'll have a look at how to export some object um, files from our Corel Draw project so the first example we'll have a look at is actually exporting our text to some word word processing software. Now to do that we will actually have to create first of all a paragraph. We will have to type in some text and when we actually select our paragraph or our text we will go to file, we'll go to export or just press ctrl E on our keyboard and then what we need to do and this is very important we have to actually select it to click on selected only so basically we're just exporting the selected object which in this case is just the text the paragraph then we will go 
to save as type and we will choose MS Word for Windows 6 or Windows 7 or any other uh, software that you would like to use for your word processing. So basically you will see that this is a um, document file so we'll give it a name here so we'll go export test and we'll just click on export okay and this is actually how we would export our text from our Corel Drive project into some word processing software okay so we can go ahead we'll open the folder where we actually exported our text and we will see that it's actually right there so if we double click on it and try to open it we'll see our text now the important bit about this is that it will actually keep the style and everything else all the formatting as it was when we actually typed in our text so basically that was an easy demonstration of how to export our text from our um, Corel Draw project However, exporting text to some other object is used as well. Importing the text into Corel Draw or into your project is more, more used than actually exporting it. So we'll actually have a look how to um, import some text into our Corel Draw project. Now, before we do that, you will probably have to create a probably a Word document and write some text in it, which I have done. And now we'll just show you how to import that text into the project. So first of all, right click anywhere in the project the working area and just go to import the import dialog box will pop up so the first thing you would like to do is actually select the MS Word type and then you navigate and find your text once you found your text select it and just hit import Alright, now you can see that the cursor has changed and it will actually give us two options. So if we press enter, our text or our frame will be centered on our working area. Or we can just press space to actually have it in its original position. So let's go ahead and press enter for example. Okay, now you can see that our frame has been inserted, or our text, the paragraph, and it's actually been centered onto our page it's actually been centered only vertically not horizontally as well and what I would like to do is actually zoom in now and this is actually the text that I have typed in the um, Word document now what I would like to show you is that this will actually keep the original format of the text so as you can see here I have typed the type is such and such
and some properties of our image. So we first of all have the color management, then the preview mode, export text as, and then we have the and then we have the compatibility. So first of all, we will leave our output color as native. We can change it to red, green, blue, and a few other options like grayscale. We will not convert spots on the color to anything, so we'll leave this as unchecked. Then you can select some preview options, so you can either have it as a TIFF mode or you can have it as a Windows Media File. We were, we're working in 8-bit um, color mode, so this is the preview image. We can select the transparent background since this is a PN, PNG uh, image they work, we are working with. And now we can either choose curves or text. Now this is dependent once again on your service provider for the printing, so the best idea would actually be to ask them whether to use the, the curves or the, or the text. If you're unsure, just use the default, which is text. And for this, we will just leave it as PostScript level 2, because this is an old version. There's a version 3, and just make sure that our printing services are capable, will, are capable of printing our work. We'll just use the older version, and now we'll just hit on OK. So that's basically, this is how we export drawings with the PostScript file. Now you can go and navigate to your location where you have actually saved the file and see that this file extension will be uh, EPS as we have as we have saved it in that in that format.